Marilyn Lenzen is like many others diagnosed with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. She has learned to adapt her life. I was going to get my kids off to school and I was going to get my career back on track and all of a sudden I had to stop and reevaluate. Using many different strategies early on, Marilyn was prescribed beta interferon, one of several disease modifying drugs. Unfortunately for me, the side effects were too great. The interferons have been the uh, first uh, line of treatment uh, since they were demonstrated to influence the course of the disease. Doctors Helen Tremlett and Joelle Auger from the University of British Columbia and co-authors examined data from patients diagnosed at baseline with relapsing remitting MS. Three groups of patients were followed up from 1985 to 2008. The active group received beta interferon treatments. Researchers then compared these patients to a contemporary control group, those eligible for the treatment but who did not receive the medication, and a historical control group, those eligible for treatment before the medication was even available. We're looking at real-world drug treatment in clinical practice on real patients who are exposed on a day-to-day -day basis um, to beta interferon treatment. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The researchers found that exposure to beta interferon treatment was not associated with a reduction or benefit on long-term disease progression. The study is useful in terms of giving patients realistic expectations on what they can hope to gain in terms of benefits um, from the drug treatment. While Marilyn and those she knows with MS are looking forward to further research, she and her friends are all living very active and productive lives. I hope by the changes that I've made in my life that I will be able to live for decades from now, continuing to walk, continuing to get out there, and um, hopefully in my lifetime, I see the end of MS. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.